Welcome back. This is an Alex training video on writing and balancing complex half reactions in acidic solution. Okay, so this is a redox reaction, so we need to know where the electrons have gone from and when they're where they're going. So it's going to give you in words what's going to happen. So we're going to reduce permanganate into manganese oxide. All right, so they've already told you that it's going to be a reduction. So I'm just going to write here MnO4 negative, and it's an ion. Ions are aqueous. And it is going to go to solid manganese oxide. Okay. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is anything that's not hydrogen or oxygen, I'm going to balance. And this is already balanced. I've got a one-to-one, -one, so I check that first. I would balance it if I needed to right there. I'd put a one or a two or a five or whatever it is. So this is a one-to-one, -one, no problem. I've got four O's on this side and two on this side. That means I'm going to have to balance the oxygen. And you balance the oxygen by adding water. You're going to add water because this is in solution. So there's plenty of water there anyway. So you're going to add water on the side of the one that has the lower amount of oxygen. So I have four oxygens here, two here. So I'm going to add, let me write this in red. I'm going to add two waters to this side. And water is liquid. Okay, so that's my next step. So here's my first step. Then balance the, the elements here. Then I'm going to add waters because I had less oxygen, more oxygen. So I add e water equal to the number that I'm missing. So I'm missing two. So I had to add two waters to give me two hydrogens. But the problem is that I have to fix the cure. The cure was water, but I ended up adding protons on this side. So how many protons did I add? Two times two. So I added four protons. That means I have to come over here and add four uh, protons on this side, which is aqueous, okay? So this was, this was step one, this is step two, this is step three, okay? Now, this is good because acidic solution is going to have protons in it. That's what an acid is, is these protons being donated. So this is definitely acidic. Uh, if you wanted basic, I would have one more step, and I'd have to neutralize these pluses with OHs on both sides to balance. That'd be one extra step. Okay. All right, now the very last step is that this is not just a regular balanced equation, but this is an, a redox balanced equation, which means I have to allow, allow for, I have to know where the electrons are. So I'm going to come originally and find out how far. Now, you know it's reduction, but I need to know how much it has been reduced, okay? So let me come here, this was my original, and let's just find out how much I went down. So oxygen is negative two, so there's two negative twos. This balances with two negative twos. That means that this has to be plus four, okay? That's my oxidation number for manganese here. Over here, this is negative two, and negative two times four is negative eight, and the whole thing is an ion. So I have to say what plus a negative eight gives me a negative one. What plus a negative eight gives me a negative one. And I see that it has to be a seven, positive seven. So I went from positive seven to positive four. That means I have gone down, I've lost three electrons. All right, so to make this balance, that means that this side is three more positives than this side because I had a seven, but I only have a four here. Everything else is balanced. The seven to four is three. That means I have to add three electrons on this side to balance it out, okay? So my answer then, let me rewrite. I'll rewrite kind of nice is MnO4 minus aqueous. Um, sorry, plus 
four H positives, four H plus aqueous, plus three electrons yields MnO2 solid plus two H2O liquid. All right, and that's how you do it. Try it over and over and over again and you will do it too.